Hello students, this is third video on electricity for class 10. In this video, we will learn about series and parallel connections. Hope you have seen the first two videos where you have learned about the concepts and Ohm's law. Now in this video, we will learn about how this Ohm's law is applied on various combinations of resistance in electrical circuits. The gadgets use resistance in series or in parallel or in combination of their components in a circuit can be joined either in parallel as shown in the bottom figure or in series as in the top figure. In series circuit, components are joined together in one big circuit which is continuous loop. Electricity would pass in the first component, then in the second and then in the third like that. The main disadvantage of this type of connection is if any one of the component malfunctions, the entire circuit stops. Here the figure is trying to explain you how the current flows. It flows through R1, then in R2, then in R3, because all the resistors are connected in series. The potential difference of all components here will be different because I is constant. So to maintain Ohm's law, the potential difference of R1, R2 and R3 will be different. So in series connection, if we add up the potential difference across R1, that is V1, across R2, that is V2, across R3, that is V3, that would be equal to the total potential difference of the circuit. Here, the Ohm's law is applicable V is equals to I RS, where RS is the total resistance of the circuit. Thus, we can write down that total uh, potential difference V is equals to V1 plus V2 plus V3 for this circuit. Now, we put the values of V equals to IRS, V1 is equals to IR1, V2 is equals to IR2, V3 is equals to IR3. So, IRS is equals to IR1 plus IR2 plus IR3. Taking out I common, we get IRS is equals to I within bracket R1 plus R2 plus R3. I gets cancelled from both the sides. We are left with RS is equals to R1 plus R2 plus R3. So this is the formula of finding equivalent resistance when they are connected in series. Thus, the total resistance in circuit is equal to the sum of all resistances when they are connected in series. Let us check now how much we have learned to, by solving a numerical. Here is a problem. A battery of 9 volt is connected in series with resistors of 0 0.2 ohms, 0 0.3 ohms, 0 0.4 ohms, 0 0.5 ohms and 12 ohms respectively. How much current would flow through the 12 ohm resistor? This is a simple problem. We have to simply apply the formula used right now and Ohm's law. If we draw the circuit of this problem, that would be something like this. Five resistance connected in series one after the other to a nine volt battery. If RE is the equivalent resistance of the circuit, then RE would be equal to R1 plus R2 plus R3 plus R4 plus R5. Now we put the values of R1 to R5 in this equation. When we put the values and sum them, we get RE is equal to 
this is 0 0.2 plus 0 0.3 is 0 0.5 0 0.5 and 0 0.5 is 1 1 plus 12 is 13 and 0 0.4 that makes 13.4 ohm is the total resistance of the circuit so when the total resistance is available we can use ohm's law v is equals to ir so we get i is equals to v upon r put the value v is equals to 9 volt r is equals to 13.4 ohms so 9 divided by 13.4 will give us i to be 0 0.671 amperes so the current flowing through the 12 ohm resistor would be the same 0 0.671 one ampere so now we have raised to the parallel connection in parallel connection the current divides amongst all the components here i will get divided into i1 i2 and i3 but voltage would be same in all the three so here applying the conservation of charge we can write i is equals to i1 plus i2 plus i3 Using Ohm's law, I1 will be equals to V upon R1, I2 will be equal to V upon R2, I3 will be equals to V upon R3. When we put these values in I, so we get V upon RE is equals to V upon R1 plus V upon R2 plus V upon R3. Take out V common. So we can write V outside the bracket and inside bracket 1 upon R1 plus 1 upon R2 plus 1 upon R3. Cancel V from both the sides and we get the final equation as 1 upon RE is equals to 1 upon R1 plus 1 upon R2 plus 1 upon R3. This is the equation for total resistance in a parallel circuit. It says that total equivalent resistance of the circuit A is equals to sum of all the reciprocals of individual resistance. Parallel connection has its major advantage as if one component gets fused, still other components can work perfectly. Second advantage is that when two bulbs are connected in parallel, they will glow with the same intensity and same lumen. So now is the problem time. We solve this numerical number 2. There are two resistors R1 and R2 having resistance equal to 20 ohms and 30 ohms. They are connected in parallel in an electric circuit. If the potential difference across the electric circuit is 5 volt, find the electric current flowing through that circuit and total resistance of the resistors. So here we write the data. We are given R1 as 20 ohms, R2 as 30 ohms. Potential difference V is equals to 5 volts and what we have to find is the total resistance of the circuit and the current I flowing through the circuit. They are connected in parallel so the formula would be 1 upon R is equals to 1 upon R1 plus 1 upon R2. Put the values of R1 and R2. So we get 1 upon R is equal to 1 upon 20 plus 1 upon 30. 60 is the LCM. So we get 3 plus 2 upon 60. Adding 3 plus 2, we get 1 upon R is equal to 5 by 60. Solving further, we get equivalent resistance of the circuit to be 12 ohms. Now we can apply Ohm's law to find the current. V is equals to IR, so I will be V upon R. Put the values of V as 5, R as 12. So current in the circuit, I is equals to 5 by 12 amperes. Or in decimal form, this can be written as 0 0.417 amperes. So that is all in this video. Watch next video on heating effect of electricity. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you liked it, please subscribe the channel. Thanks again.